UV rays. Gamma. X rays. Gamma, alpha, beta. Alpha, beta, gamma, yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's take a closer look at these examples. They are all, in fact, types of radiation. Assuming by mobile phones we mean the waves that they transmit, which are microwaves. But there are some important distinctions between these uh, different types of radiation. For example, alpha and beta rays are actually tiny particles moving very fast, whereas the rest of these types of radiation are all waves very similar to light. So let's arrange them by particles on the right and waves on the left. Another very important distinction is between the radiation that can do damage to molecules like DNA and radiation that can't. So let's rearrange the radiation into these groups. So the damaging radiation includes UV rays, X-rays, gamma rays, and alpha and beta particles. So sunlight and microwaves, including the waves used by mobile phones, should not be able to cause damage to molecules. An X-ray at the dentist or to check for broken bones, that also gives you a, a significant dose of radiation. But generally the levels of radiation that we're exposed to are so low that it's not worth worrying about. Bananas are radioactive. Why is that? Oh, no, they have potassium 40, 40 yeah. Yeah. and so okay. if you eat too many bananas you can get readings of a Geiger counter. Yeah. Do you eat bananas? I don't eat bananas. I love bananas. Yeah, I love bananas. <laughs>